And to round off our midfielders now, uh, made a few cameo appearances this season, 28 minutes of football. Nick, Harrison Reid, what do you make of those appearances? Well, it's hard to make stuff of them. I saw all 28 minutes of those appearances, uh, given that they were late on in the game, so I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't have nipped off to the loo in the last 10 minutes. I mean, he played, I think it was five minutes against Vitesse Arnhem, 13 minutes away to, at Vite, against Vitesse Arnhem and 10 minutes at Norwich in the final uh, 10 minutes of a 1-0 defeat. Many people had high hopes for Harrison Reed this time last year. You know, he, he played a few games for Saints. He, he'd, be, he'd become a bit of a fan's favourite, was touted as the new Pulse goals or whatever. And this season, he's really, you know, done nothing. I mean... 10 minutes in the Premier League and even that was a strange situation actually because when he came on we were 1-0 down against Norwich after dominating the game for 80 minutes and we didn't bring on an attacking player we brought on Harrison Reed, a more you know central buzzing around midfield not noted for creating chances and goals so like the plane that went over us earlier in you know Harrison Reed's future at Saints is a little bit up in the air he's probably one of those players where you don't want to let go just yet because you know he's obviously got potential but we're caught in this trap a little bit as sides that are in the top six do in the fact that you need if you're to keep in the top six you need players who are experienced and ready for the task ahead you can't afford to Pop a, pop a player in and let him develop as you can when you're sort of safe in mid-table. And that was perhaps why Harrison Reed didn't get a few chances at the end because we were going for the top six, we're going for Europe and you can't let up on the, the intensity of it. So, I mean, I was surprised he didn't get a Rangers in the January transfer window uh, in January because that's what he needed. He needed to get out and this is what he needs next season, to get out on loan somewhere, have a year at a championship club perhaps, and get his experience and then come back here and start to compete for a place. As I say, it's, it's up in the air for him. You can't give him more than a 6 out of 10 because he hasn't kicked on. Mm. But he never had the chance to kick on because circumstance di dictated that we needed your Classies, your uh, Romus, your Wanyamas, your Davises in the team and not give him the chance. Fourth from the pecking order in the defensive midfield, Clive. What do you what do you remember of Reed's appearances this season? <laughs> Not a lot. I was at Norwich, but the game was um, going away from from us when he came on. But whew, it's it's so difficult for Harry because he's 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 not getting in there. He's not getting a chance. So he he has to go and get some sort of first team experience elsewhere because that's the only way he he can develop. He, you can you can develop to a level in the under twenty ones, but and he's, you know, every time you see him, he's pivotal in their play. He gets good goals. But it's one thing playing for the under-21s. It's another thing playing out there in the Premier League. Um, Do you think he's made that step up yet? Or was he, he needs to He needs to go to the Championship Club, doesn't he? I think so. Yeah. I think he's well capable of Championship football. I think he's well capable of Premiership football. Um, it just, and he needs that confidence. Because he must be thinking now, I'm never going to get in. But like a lot of the players, don't give up. Look what happened here at the end of the season. So... I, I, he's got undoubted ability, undoubted ability. He he's, he's, uh, gets in your face, great short passer of a ball, very much like Classy, to be honest, mm. very much like Classy, but yeah, he needs his chances. How would you, how would you rate his season out of 10? I'd give him, give him, like Nick says, six, because we haven't seen him. We haven't seen him. I'd, I'd give him 10 out of 10. When I see him in, in the other 21s games, he's, he's outstanding. That's all I can say. Yeah. That's all I can say. Let us know in the comments below what you what you make of uh, Harrison Reed's appearances this season. Have you seen much of him in the under-20 rounds? But I think I'll go far as saying a 6 out of 10. Not, you can't really give him more or less than that because he hasn't really had much chance to shine in this squad. But let us know in the comments what you're going to give him out of 10. Subscribe for more.